the amplitude of the resultant displacement is 2a cos pi divided by 2 and therefore the intensity at that point will be i equal to 4 into i naught cos square of pi divided by 2. So if pi equal to 0 plus or minus 2 pi or plus or minus 4 pi and it goes on so these corresponds to the condition given by equation 1 which you can able to see it over here. So this will have its impact and it will be having the constructive interface leading to maximum intensity. On the other hand if pi is equal to plus or minus pi plus or minus 3 pi or plus or minus 5 pi and it goes on. So this corresponds to the condition given by equation 2 which you can able to see it over here. So we will be having the destructive interference leading to zero intensity. Now if the two sources are coherent that is if the two needles are going up and down regularly then the phase difference pi at a point will not change with time and it will be having a stable interference pattern. That is the position of maxima and minima will not change with respect to time. So you can find here the phase coherence of the coherent wave. And this is the concept of coherent where you can able to find the two needles are going up and down. However, if the two needles do not maintain a constant phase difference, then the interference pattern will also change with time. And if the phase difference changes very rapidly with time, then the position of maxima and minima will also vary rapidly with time. And we will we'll see B. So, we will be seeing a time average intensity distribution. So, when this happens, we will observe an average intensity that will be given by I equal to 4 I naught cos square pi by 2 where the angular brackets represent the time averaging. If pi of t varies randomly with time, the time average quantity will be cos square of pi by 2. And it will be 1 by 2. So this is also initiatively obvious because the function cos square of pi by 2 will randomly vary between 0 and 1 and the average value will be 1 by 2. So the resultant intensity will be i equal to 2 into i naught at all the points. When the phase difference between two vibrating sources changes rapidly with time, we say that the two sources are incoherent and when this happens, the intensity is going to be just add up. So you can find here. This is indeed what happens when two separate light sources illuminate a wall. So you can see how the depiction is over here. 